Hey friends, happy Tuesday. Here's Tracy here. We're gonna do a sensory video. So um, you're not gonna see my face the whole time because it's gonna be easier if you just see what we're doing. So I'm going to angle my camera so that you can see what we're going to be working on today. And I will pop my head in at the end and see everyone real quick. But here is our activity. And my big pregnant belly, but also. Okay, so. I decided we're going to do snow again because winter is only so long. Snow is only here for so long. And I think it's fun to play with. So I have my tray of snow. I just grabbed a glass pan, but whatever pan you have, plastic bowl, container, whatever you can use will work just fine. And then I have my watercolors. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my snow. So I to get the brush a little bit wet. I'm just gonna use some snow to get my brush a little wet because in order for your watercolors to work, you need a little water in there. So I got a little water. And I'm going to pick a color. Let's see what color do I like? I'm gonna start with a red. I'm just going to ooh, make a little pink line. It comes out pink. It's a little bit lighter. I like that. A little bit more. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Let's see. What other color can we use? Or do we like? I like all the colors. Maybe I'll go right down them. I'm just gonna put a tiny piece of snow in my watercolors so that they get a little bit wet. Because again, it doesn't really work when they're dry. And I'm finding that my brush does not really want to get wet. Um, my brush doesn't really want to get wet in the snow, surprisingly, even though the snow is wet, it's not melted enough. So, a little bit in each one, let's do a little bit in the blue, in the brown. Hey, that should be better. All right, ooh, yeah. Okay, so let's get some of that red again. <gasps> Ooh, that's pretty. That's dark. I'm just gonna make anything I want. Go to the orange. A little bit of Ooh, pretty. I like painting the snow. The tray is still really cold the way I have to hold it. So if your hands are cold, make sure you grab a pair of gloves. Mittens. A little more orange. I like how that orange looks. Poke some holes in mine with the back side of my brush. That's fun. I like that. Ooh. You can draw things in this. You can use your paintbrush or you could use your finger. I don't have gloves on, so I'm gonna use my paintbrush, but you can go ahead and use whatever you would like to use. I'm gonna try some yellow now. Just a little yellow coming out. That looks good. Wow, that's pretty. 
here. Make a little bit more. Over here. Oh, do you see that? Can you see how pretty the colors are? I hope you can. If you can't, you'll be able to see it on your own. If you get colors on your brush and you don't want to mix them up, just put your brush in the snow, swirl it around, it'll get the color off for you. You can go to your next color. I'm going to green. Ooh, yeah, there's lots of green on there. I like that. <sighs> yes, that is so pretty. I'm making lines. I'm making lines in the snow. Do a little bit more green. Came out really beautiful. I'll do some over here where I don't have any yet. Ooh, I'm kind of digging a hole while I brush. Snow is soft. See that? It's going down, down, down. That's okay. That's what snow does. It packs in. You can always fluff it back up if you want. I'm going to try this blue. Oh, I can tell already it's going to be so pretty. Oh, yep. Look at that. Look at that blue. It looks like the sky. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Oh my gosh, the snow is so pretty. I hope you can see this. I hope you're having fun. Get a little bit more blue. Ooh, wow. Look at that. So beautiful. I have a little bit more blue. I'm going to use what I have left of my blue in here. And I'm going to add some more blue up here on this part. Looks like the bottom of yours, but it's the top of mine. So top or bottom, wherever you see, wherever you want to put it. It doesn't even have to be where I put it. I like how the snow feels under my brush when it's like fluffy. I can feel that it's fluffy under there. And it feels nice. I'm gonna try a little bit of purple. I don't have any purple yet. I'm gonna put some right here. Oh my goodness. How beautiful. How many people's favorite color is purple? You need to hear on me if you like purple. Oh, I hear you. There's purple people out there. I like purple too. What about blue? We just used blue. Who likes blue? Say me. Oh, I hear you blue people out there. Well, I like blue too. I just like colors. They're beautiful. Should I ask about all of them? Yeah. Okay, so what about, go back to our red. It's coming out more like a pink, but who likes red? You do? I hear you. That's amazing. I also like red. This looks pink though, who likes pink? Oh, I hear lots of them, my friends out there, boys and girls saying, I like pink. Me, me, me. Making pink, pink, pink snow over here. Ooh. Looks a little bit like a slushy, but don't eat this snow. It looks pretty, but this is paint. You don't want to eat the paint. If you wanted to be able to eat the snow, moms and dads, um, you could probably just use a little bit of food coloring in some water and then have the kids dip their brushes into that. And then they actually could pretend that it was like um, a snow cone. And that would be okay because food coloring obviously is edible. 
this is non-toxic, but I would also not suggest eating it. Let's see. Did we ask about orange? I just did orange a second ago. I missed it. Who likes orange? The color of tigger or an orange or carrot. Me too. I like orange. Orange is my poppy's favorite color. That's my my stepdad. I call him Poppy and he loves orange. Yellow. Yellow like the sunshine. You know what is funny is I didn't always like yellow. And then I just realized how much I love it. I love the color yellow. The sunshine is yellow, it's beautiful. Lemons are yellow, they're beautiful. What else is yellow that you can think of? Oh, this is so pretty. We did our blue friends, right? Did we do green? I don't think we did our green friends yet. Who likes green? Green like leaves on the trees or green like a frog or green like a four leaf clover or a leprechaun's clothes. Yeah. Green is really relaxing. It's good for fine motor skills because they're holding on to this and they're getting a little bit of paint and they're painting on the snow. It's also sensory because they can get their hands in there if they want to. It's a little bit of art because we're painting. It's kind of vocabulary because we're talking about the colors and what foods are those colors or things are those colors. Lots and lots of things. Yep. A little bit sensory, you can hear the crunch when you poke the snow. I don't know if you can hear it. Here I hit the tray. I can hear it going through the snow. So if you try poking it, you'll hear it going through the snow. All right. So that. is my sensory video. If you really wanna get into that snow, that's okay. Um, I kinda of wanted to keep it low key sensory, um, just get into it a little bit, make it look really beautiful. I think it came out fantastic. And um, you know what? You can do this anytime mommies or daddies or adults say that it's okay to bring some snow in and do this. It's really fun. Um, you can flatten it into a pan, so it might be a little easier to paint. If you like it fluffy like that, so the, the paint can um, dribble down into the snow, that's beautiful too. Um, other ideas, you can make snowballs and paint faces on them. Um, anything you wanna do, really. So that's all for my sensory video today. Um, next week, I'm going to be using snow again, and I'm going to paint my snow before I come on. And then I'm going to show you how to make snow muffins. All right, so I'll see you then. Bye guys, have a great day.